Hello everybody, it's been a while since I posted any content and I've been receiving DMs about this. But trust me, it's been a very busy season for me. Maybe I will talk about that in a separate video because I've got a meeting coming up in a few minutes. For today, let's have a look at the top 5 questions I have been receiving in my DMs regarding the Erasmus Mundus scholarship. Question number 1. How much stipend do you get as an Erasmus Mundus scholar? You guys are all about the money, isn't it? Well, I'm also all about the money, but please don't tell anybody. A simple answer to this question is that it depends on the program that you get accepted into. For those programs introduced in 2023 and beyond, you get 1,400 euros per month as stipend, and programs which were introduced before that pay 1,000 euros per month as stipend. But here's the thing, programs introduced in 2023 and beyond do not cover the cost of transportation. They do not also pay any installation cost. Um, the transportation cost, depending on whether you are from a program country or partner country, you can get up to 3,000 euros per year. And the installation cost is fixed at 1,000 euros per year, and it is only paid to students from partner countries. So yeah, when you do the math, you will see that at the end of the day, um, it doesn't really matter which program you are accepted into, uh, because um, the cost of the program, it's almost the same at the end of the day. Question number two do they provide accommodation and the answer is no you have to pay for your accommodation from the monthly stipend that you get though in some cases the program coordinators will most likely assist you to find an accommodation but that doesn't mean they will cover the cost of it question number three is the monthly stipend enough to cover up for your expenses why is everything all about money money today well, whether you are getting 1,000 euros per month or 1,400 euros per month, it will definitely take you through the month no matter how big a spender you are. Trust me, I spend a lot because I eat a lot. But even 1,000 euros is definitely enough to see you through the month. Um, in, in most cases, you might even be able to save for traveling. So yeah. I mean, I live in Finland, which is like one of the most expensive European countries. But trust me, you will survive on the stipend. Question number four. What should be my CGPA to stand a good chance of being selected for this scholarship? The thing is, there is no predefined GPA for being selected for the Erasmus Mundus scholarship. However, in my honest opinion, I think you should have a decent GPA. But here comes the question. What is regarded as a decent GPA? Um, you will almost always be competing with students from your own country who apply to the same program. So if your GPA is above average in your country, then in my honest opinion, I think you have a chance of being selected for this program. I had the chance to ask one of the program coordinators some time back the same question. And this was the answer that I got. Um, where is my phone? Let me read it out. This is what he said. We do not entirely base our selection criteria on GPA. We understand that the system is different for students from different parts of the world. So we evaluate the students a little bit differently depending on where they come from. We also consider other factors such as their motivation for applying to the program. And sometimes we are forced not to select some students with very high GPAs because they fail to demonstrate their motivation for applying to the program. Students' past experiences are sometimes also considered during the evaluation process and we prefer students with an all-round good profiles to students with just high GPAs. So as you can see, the selection process is not just um, entirely based on um, your GPA. Other factors are also taken into consideration. Um, so yeah, you should work um, towards having an all-round um, good profile rather than just you know, basing everything on your GPA because that isn't enough in my opinion. Another question that I usually get um, which relates to this question is, is the Erasmus Mundus scholarship worth it? In my honest opinion, it is definitely worth it. However, I think any response to this question might rather be a subjective one. So if you would like to see me interview two to three Erasmus Mundus scholars for their perspective on that, do let me know in the comment section and I promise I will deliver on that all for you. Question number five how many programs are available to be chosen from um, there is good news just a couple of days ago i visited the course catalog and guess what this year there has been an additional 10 new programs taking the total number of available programs from 193 to 203 
incredible isn't it what you should know is that each program is designed to attract certain students from certain departments and faculties so despite the high number of programs available you might find out that there are only a few programs that you can apply to but that shouldn't be an issue because you will almost always find up to five programs that you can apply to and i actually encourage you to apply to at most three or four programs uh, because in this way, you'll be able to focus on putting up a good application rather than just sending out lots of applications, you know. Remember, sometimes less is more. I also encourage you to take your time and go through the course catalog to check out the programs of your interest if you haven't done that already. I will leave a link to the course catalog in the description of this video. And it's almost time. I gotta go. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like this video and would like to see more content of this type from me, then please consider supporting me by hitting on the like button and subscribe. I wish you good luck in your application. If you have any question that wasn't answered in this video, then please consider leaving it in the comment section. I will do my possible best to provide um, answers um, over there. Thank you once again. Adios.